Hey there! So, in my MPV player tutorial, where I walk through all the basics of how to use MPV player, I mentioned this uh, profile in my config file, where um, I say that um, this one works uh, with movies to Anki. And in that tutorial, um, I basically said that I'll make a separate video talking about how to um, tweak movies to Anki in order to be able to use a separate uh, config profile um, in the imp in the MPV player that will just work just for movies to Anki and uh, then you have a, a separate set of configs that you would use for your general use. So uh, this is what this video is about. Uh, beyond that I'm also going to show a couple of uh, other little tweaks that you can uh, do, uh, that you can make to movies to Anki. And uh, yeah, this is going to be just uh, not a very uh, long video, but uh, we're going to talk about how you can tweak uh, the code of a plugin. Also, in general, I'm going to show you how you, uh, like when you, say you find just a random Anki add-on, not just movies to Anki, uh, you can always um, try to look in, at the code and uh, try to find um, the relevant thing that it would like to change. It's not, um, you don't have to know the actual programming language necessarily in order, in order to succeed at that task because when I figured out how to use this tweak I didn't know Python. I know uh, a bit of Python now and I understand um, the code reasonably well but um, uh, when I did it uh, the first time uh, I didn't know that so the point is that uh, you don't have to be a programmer to try to tweak your um, the software that you're, you, you're using and I'd encourage just any uh, user just to try, try it out, just to see, to google some things in order to just basically take control of what you're using on your computer and uh, make it serve um, your, uh, your, your goals better. Uh, if you're a language learner, which you probably are since you're watching this channel, um, this um, can really come in handy because you will be creating the environment that works for you the best. So, uh, okay, without uh, any further ado, let's just go over to, to the computer and um, let's start uh, tweaking this uh, Anki add-on. So, um, here I have Anki uh, open and this is just um, a demo profile, which uh, which is pretty much empty and it has some sample cards. Uh, which, by the way, um, I've written this um, I've written this script for Anki, which I'll make separate vis videos about. But basically, it's called Unified Entry, and it allows you to format your cards um, to look kind of like this with a nice uh, and uh, um, kind of with nice typography and you'll be you can so if I open up the browser so this is just a tangent but I just wanted to show you this real quick so this is a markup language that I wrote basically it's still a work in progress and there's lots of things to to fix and to improve but I'll be making videos about this so basically this is the code that this, this is what you put in your um, in the field for your card and uh, the card ends up looking like this so um, this is just a way to reduce the number of fields that you use in your cards and if you like to make it a bit uh, sort of nice looking and uh, basically to take control of how your card looks and not make it look just like you know just like a normal card would look I don't know, something like this. Of course, it doesn't have to look this sim simple, but uh, basically Unified Entry can uh, come in handy to format your cards better. But this is not what this video is about. Let's go back to our uh, topic, which is uh, tweaking movies to Anki. So um, here I have uh, a text file opened up which just uh, which is just my personal text file where I left some notes on how to tweak movies movies to Anki. So basically, first thing I wanted to mention is that um, 
a drawback of uh, tweaking a plugin or an add-on, as they call it in Anki, yourself like this, just by going into the code and changing something. The drawback of that is that once uh, the plugin gets updated, then all of your changes will be erased because obviously the, the developer will just uh, work with their code and you'll have changed the code. So you, once the plugin updates, you'll have to do it again. And that's why I have this file. So um, there's like obviously a way to automate this if you wanted to. You could write a script to do this for you if you want. But uh, I've been doing it just manually. Uh, so uh, let's just go uh, through this real quick and I am actually going to go ahead and uh, update my um, Anki, um, sorry, my my Movies to Anki plugin uh, just he right here live in this video and uh, I'll show you how once you update your Anki plugin how you can do that as well. So I haven't updated it yet and uh, right now if I open up Let's see, if I open up add-ons and click on check for updates, it says that uh, this watch foreign language movies with Anki, this is the Movies to Anki plugin, it has updates available. <clears throat> but basically, before we update, let's go ahead and take a look at the, um, at the code that we are going to be modifying. So I have uh, my text editor here open. I'm using Atom, you can use anything you want, uh, including the built-in um, app that comes with your operating system, just a notepad on Windows, uh, text editor on Mac, and so on and so forth. Um, so I have my uh, add-ons, my Anki add-ons folder pulled up here in Atom, and uh, that you can find that folder on a Mac, it's home directory, library, application support, Anki, add-ons to, to one. Oh yeah, by the way, so uh, the previous video that I made about Movies to Anki uh, was actually about the version of Anki, the version of the plugin for Anki 2.0, because at the point that I was making that video, um, I uh, the plugin hasn't been updated yet to 2.1, and so now it is updated, and this is really great. Uh, I'm glad that the developer um, continues uh, developing this add-on and uh, here, let's see, here I have let's just go ahead and open up the, uh, the page for the plugin just to briefly well, show where you can download it from. This is this ad uh, address, you can go to well, the easiest thing you can do is just Google this title or Anki 2.1 Movies to Anki add-on and you'll just get right to this page. I'll also leave the link uh, in the description. So this is the uh, add-ons page. Really, a really, really useful add-on. I'm really glad that the developer uh, is still working on it. And uh, this is just uh, the GitHub, the developer's GitHub. So just to give them credit, I'm going to go ahead and show their profile. Um, so yeah, they also have a standalone version of Movies to Anki, which is just a separate piece of software that doesn't work as a plugin, but as a separate, uh, a separate program on your computer. But uh, I'm using the plugin, so that's what, what we're going to be working with. All right, so back to Adam. So this is the directory uh, where Anki stores your, where Anki 2.1 stores your add-ons. If you're still for some reason working working with uh, Anki 2.0, the folder will be called add-ons, just add-ons without 2.1. And um, okay, so I have that directory open over here. Here it is, add-ons 2.1, and I have my MPV configuration directory opened up here as well. So. Um, this is this is the this directory home dot config slash mpv. I go into it in detail in my mpv player basics walkthrough video, so I'll leave a link to that as well so that you can watch it and uh, in 
that video, I, I go into detail about how you can how you can use and uh, set up and customize your MP player. So I do recommend you watch that. Um, let's see. So um, MPV player folder, and uh, in this folder I have my MPV.conf, and in my MPV.conf I have this movies to Anki profile. Um, so the reason I have it is because, well, when I when uh, when movies to Anki plays something. Let's see. So let's first import a video in uh, into Anki. Let's start with that so that we have something to work with. So uh, let's see. Generate video cards. Video. So over here on my desktop, I have the same uh, folder that I uh, had in my MPV player uh, basics walkthrough video. So I'll go ahead and import one of the videos from this folder. Uh, let's go with this one, open data. And it, uh, it already has a subtitle, an English one. I don't believe there is, yeah, that video is in English, so. Crap. <laughs> Man, okay. So this is the video, uh, so everything should work. I'll go ahead and click go and I get an error for some reason all right so I figured out what the problem was I just uh, forgot that I that in this Anki profile I don't have um, that my note type doesn't have all the fields that are needed for movies to Anki to work so I'm gonna go ahead and re-add them also you'll know that my uh, I have a, um, a note type here called main, and this is actually a note type that um, my Movies to Anki uh, uses. But if you install Movies to Anki just uh, from the from the add-ons uh, from Anki add-ons, you'll get the a note type that is called Movies to Anki, and then add-on in parentheses. So. Uh, in this video, I'll also show you how you can change the name of this note type. Because, well, it can, it's kind of weird to have it called that if you use that same note type for also for, for just normal cards that don't have any video that are not movies to Anki cards. And I do use just one, of, one and the same note type for non-movies to Anki cards and for movies to Anki cards. And so I just call it main. And I renamed that as well, and I'll show you how to how to uh, do the same. So, anyways, I'm uh, gonna go ahead and add all the fields that I need. Okay, so the fields are back, and now we should be able to import the video. Let's give it a go. Yeah, and the third thing that I'm going to be tweaking tweaking is uh, this shortcut, I believe. So that you can also change that, even though there is no like there is no configuration option for that. And I did need to change it because because it conflicted with some other shortcut and some other add-on. Um, don't remember which one exactly, but that's also something that's useful to tweak. Uh, let me see. So we're importing our open data video. All right. Good. Very good. So we got our our um, deck and uh, twenty cards. Really, there's only twenty lines in that video, or is it that I have a limit here? Uh, options. Yeah. No, apparently just, it, it does just have 20 cards. All right. Um, all 
Okay, so now we have this deck. If I go ahead and play one, uh, play a card from it. Open data, explain simply. So that was the first card. Open data, and explain this is the simply. Line, so just the normal movies to Anki stuff. All right, so we saw the card was playing, so uh, movies to Anki is working now. Uh, right now, I have already, I already have it tweaked the way I want, but there's a new version available, so we're going to be um, update updating updating that and uh, applying uh, the tweaks again so first thing to do is basically you have your add-ons to one folder and there's a bunch of, of folders in there with numbers mostly unless you install an add-on from somewhere else from some other place uh, then the official Anki's uh, add-ons, uh, like, I don't know what it, what it is, directory, website. <clears throat> from this website, from Anki Web. From Anki Web, there it is. That's what it is. So, um, so before we get to, to, to actually tweaking the add-on, uh, what you should do is you should uh, back up what you already have because if something doesn't work it's always easier to have a backup and then, then to just restore it so uh, movies to Anki has this ID 9393947702 I already have this here in my note and I'll uh, also uh, post this note in some way maybe on github but basically there'll, there'll be a link to this disc description to everything I'm doing in this tutorial. So, if you ever want to find uh, an add on here quickly, like in this uh, messy folder, if you have lots of add ons and it's just a bunch of numbers and you no don't know where the add on is, which one is the, the one that you need, uh, if you're easy using Atom Text Editor again, then you can press shift command or control on windows shift command f and that will, that will allow you to search in the entire project and the project is what like the, the folders that you have open over here uh, so mpv and add-ons so i am searching for movies to anki so chances are that the code for movies to anki contains that um, uh, that word and so I can just go ahead and find all and uh, Adam will search through all the folders and I'll be able to find the, the folder that I need so for example here and here I can see that it's in the folder 939 and so on but this is just in case that you're you're gonna be tweaking some other add-on and you need to find it quickly so this uh, is one of the ways so we have this folder. Let's just go ahead and uh, create a copy of it. If we can do it like this. All right, I don't know how to do it through the GUI, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the terminal real quick. So you can just open, if you don't uh, use the terminal uh, that much, then you can just open your normal uh, file manager, explorer, finder, explorer on, on Windows, finder in a Mac, and just uh, copy the folder. But I'm gonna go ahead and quickly uh, copy that. 939, blah, blah, blah. Just I'm gonna go ahead and copy it to my desktop. And I'm just gonna just gonna copy this number as it is and say dot back for backup. Let's also show it. This is gonna just show the files that it's copying as it's copying them. All right, so list desktop. All right, so I have my backup. And uh, well, 
since I'm using this, uh, this is called uh, this package for Atom is called Platformio something terminal. This one, Platformio IDE terminal. So there's a bunch of these terminals that they all look very similar, but I uh, I'm using this one. So. Okay, so we've backed up our um, existing add-on directory. Uh, now we can actually go ahead and update our add-on because we already have a copy, nothing. We're not going to lose any data. And if you're not sure, you can just go ahead and back up the entire Anki's like data directory or add-on directory or whatever you want. Basically, when you're making changes like this, always have a backup. Um, Okay, so we go to add-ons and click uh, check for updates. There's also another add-on that has updated. That's fine. I'm not, uh, I haven't changed anything on that one. So I'll just go ahead and click yes and let the let Anki update everything. So uh, it says here that our 939 blah, blah, blah add-on is installed successfully. So now if I actually try to open it, it's not going to work. Because open data explained simply. Working. Why is it working? Maybe if I restart it. Oh, yeah, I have to restart it, obviously, because the add on is. Well, load it into memory and it's just using the previous version, but you have to restart Anki for the change to take effect. Open data explained yeah. simply. All right, apparently somehow I ended up with two copies of Movies to Anki here. It looks like the add-ons ID got changed, so uh, I ended up with two folders. Um, that one with the older version and one with the newer version. Or maybe I just accidentally renamed this folder when I was tweaking it before. But in any case, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it so that we have only the newest version. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and restart Anki again. Okay, so now it doesn't work. That's what I was expecting. Um, a few problems along the way, but uh, we're doing fine. So um let's see so right now we have basically the add-on uh as it as it is just downloaded normally so now um let's uh, take a look at this uh, tweaks file that i have over here so the first one is a setting an npg profile that's what um uh, i've been talking about all along and in that uh other mp player video so um, I have the note here that just I just left well, some notes for myself to remember how to uh, apply the same changes again. Um, so let's see. Add the line, this line before line 239. The line number can change, but that's more like just an approximate place where it is. So 239 yeah and it's over here so if you ever make some notes and then forget and it's again the backup is very useful because th there you can just search for the line for this line that you're going to be pasting and then um, search for the line that you're going to be pasting and then uh, find where you need to add it in the in the updated version 
So what this does is basically just adds to this args um, variable another another um, another element which just says profile movies to Anki. That's all it does. So now if I were to use the if I, now if I open the the card then it would uh, play with that movie stonky profile and it would load um, all the configs from from here but I can't do that yet because my uh, note type doesn't work yet so we haven't finished uh, with tweaking yet um, so let's um, uh, continue also yeah here I have a template that just basically, this is an instruction, and this is actually meant for me to just grab like this and uh, paste it over here. And uh, this is just saying what what I changed. And I say here, Alex Rogers, just to remind myself that this is a change that I made personally. And um, I'll just I just like inserting it, inserting a date here so that I know when I made the change. Okay. Uh, so that's the first one. Now let's go ahead and uh, do something else. Let's uh, change the video cards, generate video cards shortcut. The default is Control M, which I believe translates to Command M on a Mac, and Command M is also used in Morphman, which I also use. And so that conflicts. So that's why I changed this. Uh, shortcut. So change the line 2016 in uh, such and such file and I also have this uh, template here so copy that and uh, now I need to open up uh, this movies to Anki.py file so previously just not right now I was working with player.py I added I added uh, this over here and now I need movies to Anki.py and I need a line 20 something. All right, let's see what I'm, what I'm actually doing, what I'm looking for. Uh, action dot, so I just, I'll just search for this line so that I don't end up looking for it. 10 minutes all right so this now it's line 2055 so the line number changes you should probably say like something like approximately but whatever um, right so I need to add this stuff change the line 2016 so I need to change the line comment out the original line plus add this I just like doing it the same way every time so so that there is least uh, less probability of uh, getting confused or messing something up so I'm changing this I'm just uh, the only thing I'm doing so this is the original line and I'm changing just over here the shortcut to control alt M which will be command alt M on a Mac and we can see, yeah, right now it's command M, but it will change. Okay, so, all right, second tweak applied. Now changing model name. Model is uh, movies to Anki's term, but in, um, this is basically when you, when you import here there's model and there's a couple you can choose from but uh, basically it's each model uses its own Anki's Anki note type so we'll also be we'll be changing the model name so that we can use the uh, the note type that we want then yeah the name so that we can call our note type what we want Okay, so uh, let's see. 
So I just left some instructions for myself here. Search for movies to Anki add on and replace it with main. So what this means is basically it's actually best if you have Atom for this because I don't exactly know how to do it in, in a different text editor so um, I can't really you know give you exact instructions but the principle is the same basically the idea is that you search the entire um, this entire folder and let me actually add it as project folder in, in Atom so that I only so can I do it like that no I can't I have to All right, I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and add this folder as just a, pro, a, a project folder so that I can search only in that folder and not in, a, anywhere else. Because if I do, I might replace something that uh, that I didn't intend to. So, Adam, uh, what am I doing? I'm adding to the current window. Uh, let's see, home then uh, library application support and this is how you escape a space on the command line then um, onki2 yeah i don't know why am i trying to do it through memory the path is over here onki2 Anki add-ons to one and I'm hitting tab to autocomplete uh, what I'm typing and then I need just this uh, the name of this folder so I just I'll just hit F2 for rename and copy the name from there and I'll paste it here so this should add it Yeah, there we go. So I'll actually close these uh, add-ons to one folder and uh, MPV folder because we don't need them anymore. Remove project folder. So that just uh, removes this from from Adam. Okay, so now we just have this um, movies to Anki uh, add-on directory in Adam, and we can search only in there. Actually, I didn't need to remove everything, but I still need, wanted to clean up the workspace. So there, there's less distractions. So we can just right-click it and uh, find here, uh, let's see, and search in this folder. And I can't see, where the hell is it? Find and the shortcut is Shift-Command-F and um, so we need to search for movies to Anki add-on and we'll take a look at one of the lines that we're going to be replacing there's like only like seven places in the entire code where uh, this occurs uh, so find all Here we go. So it's in movies to Anki.py file and player.py file, the same file that we were editing. Oops. Uh, so I'll just. To <laughs> There's really nothing to explain here because uh, the only thing I'm doing is just that. In the code, there is this movies to Anki add-on model name. That's what it's called, and I'll just I'll just rename it. That's all I'm doing. So, so I hit uh, Shift Command F uh, to repl uh, to search and replace in in project in all the files that are open over here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with main. And I'll say replace all, and uh, then it'll show uh, show us what it's going to change, and it'll ask us 
uh, if we agree, if we hit OK, I can't hit uh, Command Z and go like and undo the change. It will just uh, replace everything in all the files. With this uh, replacement project uh, function, you can't uh, undo it. So just make sure you did everything correctly and click OK and make sure you have a backup and click OK. And uh, there we go. So the change was made replaced. Movies Donkey add on with main in 10 times in two files. So everything makes sense. Everything's good. Uh, next, I'm making it so that node types starting with main also play. Yeah, that's just um, if you want to have multiple node types. So over here I have. If I go to my manage node types, I have main, but maybe I just wanted to have a similar node type, but um, I wanted to tweak it in some way, some change it in some way. So I want to have, I want to be able to have an alternative um, node type for movies to Anki to be able to play as well. So I like to have like main and then. Um, maybe like okay if i just try to add a new one clone main like if i clone it okay and then everything anything that starts with main i'll I would just call it main and now uh, alt alternative and then i would have it so um to make this work as well uh, there's another tweak. We search for this stuff and replace with what starts with. So this is a bit of Python. Um, let's see, so let's first search for the thing. Paste it in, uh, search. So, uh, Yeah, so right here it says uh, it's just like a condition if uh, like whatever and uh, one of the conditions is if this thing is equal to main but what we are going to put in there instead is starts with main. So this is pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory. Python is a very transparent language to like understand. Once you know the basics, it's you know a lot of it explains itself. Paste it in the wrong place. All right, so main uh, replace with starts with main, and we can see the preview here. A live preview, and. Uh, So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit replace all and uh, click OK again to make all the changes. OK, so and these are all the tweaks. So if everything worked correctly, now we should have a working tweaked and updated version of Movies to Anki. So Um, I'll go ahead and close Anki and uh, open it up again for changes to apply the changes. All right, let's try playing to play. Well, let's try playing card. Open data explains simply. Right. Hmm. So it looks like, um, so our our 
hotkey tweet changed. Sorry about the fireworks. I guess I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait a sec for them to settle down. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna uh, figure out what went wrong because when I opened the video, you saw that it expanded to the full screen, so it, it doesn't use uh, the right profile. So I'm, I must have uh, uh, forgot something. I'll go ahead and uh, fix that and then explain what the problem was. But our tweak, uh, our hotkey tweak worked and uh, the, the note type also played, so those, uh, those worked fine. We can also try, actually just right away, uh, renaming this to something main whatever and try playing it again. Open data. And it still works. So the only thing that uh, went wrong somehow is uh, the profile, so we'll go ahead and fix that. So I think I know what the problem is, but I, I just opened up my backup to see if I'm right. So I think I just uh, put the line in slightly the wrong way. So profile, movies to Anki. Yeah, so I should have put it into this else uh, Clause is it a clause? I'm not sure, uh, but in this part, basically after else, conditional clause and else clause. I'm not sure if you call an else clause of like this else part of the conditional a clause. Anyways, uh, so this is my backup and. Uh, this, I'll close the terminal. So I put the line over here, but I should have put it in here. I see that, well, in the, in my backup, it looks like I just pasted it in before the CMD equals so I'll go ahead and just move it down one line on add in Adam I'm not sure if it's default shortcut but you can move move lines just by pressing uh, alt down in my case but it might be something different by default so I move this line over here and we'll go ahead and uh, close Anki again and, and uh, I'll go ahead and restart Anki uh, to apply the changes and try again. Open data, explain simply. Done. Okay, so uh, this is how you can uh, make those uh, tweaks to movies to Anki and uh, make it so that it can work with a separate MPV player profile like we talked about in the MPV player walkthrough video. So here's our mpv.conf and here's the profile that it right now uh, loaded uh, as I used it in, in Anki. So um, this is basically it for this video. Video. This is how you tweak movies to Anki or in general really any um, Anki add-on or piece of software that you downloaded from, uh, that you got from, from somewhere. And uh, this is something great about the software which has open so uh, the, which has the source code available for you to look at. You can change it and um, uh, tweak it to your liking and just little things like this uh, sometimes go a long way to uh, create a, a convenient and like pleasant environment for you to work in and to learn your languages in so yeah this is it for this video 
Thanks for watching. Leave a comment uh, to let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.